In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, came Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, unto Jerusalem. And the king asked Ashpenaz, the master of his unit, Bring me those who are not blemished, but well favored, and skillful in all wisdom, and cunning in knowledge, and understanding science, and such as have an ability in them to stand in the king's palace, and who they might teach the learning and the tongue of the Chaldeans. And the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat and of the wine which he drank, so nourishing them at the end of three years that they might stand before the king. Now among these were the children of Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. The king gave them these names, to Daniel the name of Beltasajah, and to Hananiah, Shadrach, and to Mishael, Meshach, and to Azariah of Abednego. I will not defile myself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine that he drinks. So he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself, so he asked the king, Prove thy servants for ten days, and let them give us vegetables to eat and water to drink. Then let our countenances be looked upon, and countenances of the children that eat the portion of the king's meat, and as thou seest. So he consented to them in this matter, and proved them ten days. And at the end of ten days, their countenances appeared fairer and fatter in flesh than all of the children that did eat the portion of the king's meat. Thus the king took away the portion of their meat and the wine which they should drink and gave them vegetables. As for these four children, God gave them knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom, and Daniel had understanding of all visions and dreams. At the end of three years, the king brought them in to see him. And the king communed with them, and among them all were found none like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. The king found them ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers that were in the entire realm. And Daniel continued even into the first year of King Cyrus. What is all that noise? The king is building something. What is he building? I don't know, but it's like it's going to be tall. It was tall, 90 feet tall. King Nebuchadnezzar was making a golden statue nine feet wide and 90 feet tall. Then he issued a decree. To you it is commanded, O people, nations, and languages, that at what time you hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, dust minor, and all kinds of music, you fall down and worship the golden image. And who falleth not down and worship will the same hour be cast in the midst of a burning fiery furnace. People complained that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were not worshiping the golden image. There are certain Jews who you have set over the affairs of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not your God, nor worship the golden image. What? Bring them to me. Is it true? Do not you serve my gods and worship the golden image? If you are ready, when you hear the music, bow down and worship the golden image. Well, but if not, you will be thrown in the fire the same hour. And who is that God that will deliver you from my hand? Our God, who we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace, and He will deliver us out of your hand, O King. But if not, be it known unto thee, O King, that we will not serve thy God, nor worship the golden image. Guards, heat the furnace seven times hotter, then throw these three in. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were tied up and thrown into the fire. (laughs) 
The fire was so hot that it killed the man that threw them in. Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you serve the Most High God. Come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out of the midst of the fire. The king saw that their bodies, the fire, had no power, nor was a hair on their head singed. Neither were the coats changed, nor the smell of the fire on them. Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who have sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him, and have changed the king's word, and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. 